to Brentech here where tech is made simple. So about a week ago or so, Microsoft resumed the rollout of Windows 11 24H2 to the release preview channel Insiders with KB5039239 where the annual feature update is undergoing final testing. And I'll leave that video uh, linked in the end screen. Now, um, as you may well know, if you have a Copilot Plus PC, you would have already started receiving the 24H2 rollout of the feature update, which started um, earlier this week on the 18th of June. But for the rest of us, without Copilot Plus PCs, um, we have to wait until around about the end of September, early October, for 24H2 to be pushed out to most of the general public because I think Copilot Plus PCs at this stage are more in the minority than the majority. Now, if you are in the Insider program um, testing Windows 11 24H2, just to let you know that Microsoft has rolled out a update yesterday late in my part of the world on the 20th of June and the update is KB5039304 which bumps up uh, the build to 26,100.994. Now, this is a non-security bug fix update. So, obviously, Microsoft is trying to stabilize 24H2 as much as they can before they roll it out to the general public in a couple of months. And there are six bug fixes that have been made available. So, just putting this out there, just to keep you guys posted, if you are running 24H2 and are finding yourself in the release preview channel. So, bug fix number one is the update addresses an issue that affects the Windows Defender application control, also known as WDAC. Apparently, it was failing to verify the policies of some apps. Um, there's two w WDAC fixes. Um, the next one... Uh, addresses an issue that affects WDAC when apparently it was reporting a certain class of its policies as not active or not authorized. And then the third fix is it also addresses an issue that might cause DWM.exe to stop responding. And that's quite an important fix because um, DWM stands for the Desktop Window Manager. And that was stopping to respond. So that's a bit of a stability improvement they have brought to 24H2. And then the update brings country and operator settings asset, uh, COSA for short profiles, up to date for certain mobile operators. And it also addresses an issue that affects the unified right filter, UWF. And then the sixth and final bug fix with this update, uh, it addresses an issue believed to, be under the, uh, believed to be the underlying cause of some insiders noticing stutters in some animations recently dropping frames, particularly with task view. So that's another important fix. So we've got um, six bug fixes and two of those really are addressing stability. So that's a nice thing to see that um, the stability side of things is getting worked on uh, in preview because obviously release preview is the final stage before it makes its way to the general public. So I'm um, just putting it out there and um, just letting you know about this recent update KB 5039304 which is the latest bug fix update for 24H2 in release preview. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.